We're in a dynamic age where Indigenous women are really taking up leadership roles and being able to have their say in the future of our communities and our nations. That wasn't always the case. Uh, traditionally, we had different roles and responsibilities, but today we really are taking up those political, social, and community leadership opportunities. As Indigenous women, we see the world not just from our own perspective, but really from a perspective of when we make decisions as leaders, it affects our families, it affects our communities, it affects our children, and it affects the next generation and the seven after that. So we have to consider all of that when we make decisions as leaders. IWICL graduates have skills to go back and make change in their community, whether it's facilitation skills or speaking skills, really having an understanding of what it is to be a leader in their community after their projects they've learned you know, what are some of the challenges I'm going to come up against? What are some of the uh, strategies that I've had to create in order to, to fulfill this, this project? I hope that Indigenous women leaders from being in the node will get resources, have access to webinars, opportunities for, for alumni, have an opportunity to share what they know and maybe it's job leads, maybe it's working on a community project and they need feedback. I would recommend that the Indigenous women leaders not just take the learning that they can get from the Indigenous Women's Leadership Node, but also look at the other nodes because they can be useful to them as well and really a platform for being engaged with other global Indigenous leaders. We definitely want to hear from you and I think it's also a way to connect to faculty, staff and other participants in this program and other programs.